The climate discussion thickens. One tantalizing technology for saving us from a climate calamity might just cause another. CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere are on the rise, partially because humans are burning fossil fuels for energy. We are changing planetary temperatures, and we know this because of physics. Energy. <laughs> An energy cat? I'm teaching a class on climate, and here's carbon dioxide and climate 101. The more carbon dioxide that we have in the atmosphere, the warmer it gets, the less, the cooler. I was reading up for the class and found an article, this big new idea for, for change. This big new idea for stopping climate change would cause even bigger problems, scientists say. This was found in the Washington Post. Freaking long, long title. We're getting longer, man. I can't do this crap. So what can we do about rising carbon dioxide? Well, maybe reduce our dependency on fossil fuels? Or, or maybe we could come up with some nifty new technology to draw carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Or maybe some confimogulation of both. Ooh, and enter stage left. Bex, B-E-C-C-S. Bioenergy combined with carbon capture and storage. Step one, burn plants for energy. Step two, capture the carbon dioxide given off by this process. Step three, store it. Step four, regrow the plants to start this process again, which also draws carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere for a net reduction. This is also called negative emissions. There we go, people. We're using the power plant between our ears for solution. That's cool and all, but research in the Journal of Nature Climate Change casts into doubt this method. So wherein lies the rub? The growing more trees bit. We're talking about tens of millions of tons of nitrogen fertilizer, which can wreak havoc on ecosystems. Plus, we'll need a trillion tons of fresh water Plus, plus, the plantations will knock out millions of square miles of forest biodiversity. By avoiding one planetary boundary, excessive temperature rise, we might slam into others like pollution and loss of biodiversity. Do you know what I like about this article? It describes the fetal stages of a competitive clean energy market. No kidding. Totes. It's banter day with Dan. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do ba That's somehow the theme song to Banter Day with Dan. Hey. Sure, this might hobble the research a little bit, but it highlights the value of thinking critically about new technologies for jumping headlong in. Well thought out solutions, not rush jobs that we might regret down the road. Thanks for joining us on this episode. Head on over to Facebook or YouTube, give us a like, share a comment, and join us on our next show. Okay?